Today, I'm going to show you what you need to build a simple, cageless rig for the FX3 for under $130 that's perfect for run and gun, fashion and fitness shooting, as well as some upgrades you could make to beef it out even more. I'm Brian Elliott, and I'm a fashion and fitness videographer with a passion to help other videographers learn how to shoot better fashion and fitness content. One of the appealing things about the FX3 to me is what they call the cageless design with several mounting points on the top of the camera and the sides. A lot of YouTubers criticize this design as not having enough mounting points to be useful and they go ahead and buy a cage regardless. But for my needs, honestly, I think the design is perfect. I personally buy smaller cameras because I like to keep things fairly light and compact. I've used a variety of big and small cameras over the, my career, including a rigged out Pocket 4K camera and the FX9, which is a beast in its own right. Both of which I've covered extensively on this channel, so you can definitely check out those videos if you're interested. But I keep coming back to loving smaller and lighter cameras because of the speed and the efficiency of them. So when I'm looking to rig out my camera, I want to keep it as small and light as possible with the functionality I need from rigging it up. You can find all the parts to this build as well as some alternative options to you know, go even cheaper or you know, even more advanced than this in the description below. The basis for this rig is a 3.9 inch or 100 millimeter small rig NATO rail. You could be just fine with the 70 millimeter NATO rail as well, but I ended up going with the 100 millimeter to make sure I had all the length I wanted to mount everything I wanted. It does hang off the side a little bit, but because of the side handle that I use, it doesn't really matter. I got this rail off Amazon for 16 bucks, so it's very affordable. I screwed in the two holes on the left side of the camera because using the one on the right side of the camera put the rail over the top of the record button and that was just a pain in the butt. Once those are screwed in and the rail is securely attached so it won't wiggle around or come loose, the next step is to slide it on the top handle. I personally use the 2027 NATO top handle that costs about $55. There are plenty of NATO top handles to choose from depending on your needs more expensive, less expensive, some with record functionality, all kinds of different cool stuff. So slide that on there, lock it into place on the center of the camera for a nice top handle. Next, I take the side handle, slide it into place and lock it in as well. I'm using the 1534 small rig side handle because of its top mounting ability. There are a couple of varieties of this and this one does have the weakness of being taller than the camera. So setting it down, it won't lay flat. For me, this isn't a big deal because I generally have a tripod handy to set it on rather than laying a $4,000 camera on the ground. And that's literally my basic handheld rig. Uh, you know, three parts to be super simple, super stable, and super easy affordably. The beautiful thing about this setup is once the NATO rail is on there, it literally takes less than 30 seconds to rig the camera up for stable handheld shooting or strip it down and throw it on a steady cam or a gimbal. The NATO rail doesn't weigh enough to make a big difference when it comes to balancing the camera on a steady cam or gimbal, so it basically is a permanent fixture on the camera unless I want to mount the native XLR top handle onto the FX3, which I don't very often. Now, you can definitely rig this up even more with either a NATO rail or cold shoe mounted monitor attachment and an external monitor if you want to get you know a larger viewing screen and have a little bit more weight to your rig. The NATO rail monitor mount and the cold shoe mount both run about $30 so it's not a huge investment to kick up your rig a little bit more if you already have an external monitor. If this video brought you value consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you very soon.